Hello everybody, welcome back to another War Thunder dev blog. I'm late once again, but I was tied up playing games rather than reviewing them. This is the AH1W Super Cobra, a later development of the twin-engined AH1 Cobra optimized for the service with the US Marine Corps. This helicopter will soon be available as part of the next major update in two trees, no less, um, for the US and China, surprisingly. And definitely soon, because planned technical works are due for tomorrow, so that means that the update Alpha Strike is highly likely to be released tomorrow. So you guys have that to look forward to. Yes, I will be doing a video sort of covering everything in the game, or at least the main stuff, like the new vehicles. Anyways, without further ado, the twin engine design, effective ordnance options, thermal vision device and good maneuverability. The Venomous Marine is here in War Thunder. Now, the AH-1W Super Cobra, which is what I thought was the AH-1Z, I used to call the AH-1Z the Super Cobra, but the AH-1Z is actually called the Viper, so try not to get them confused, uh, like I did. Intended uh, entered service, the normal Cobra entered service with the US Army. And the US Marine Corps expressed their interest in acquiring Cobras for their own use. However, these Cobras would have to be twin engine and possess a more capable primary armament to meet the Marine service requirements. Not sure why, but apparently the Marines wanted more. Despite initial hesitation from the Department of Defense, the Marines actually, uh, for once, got the go ahead and proceeded with award awarding Bell with a contract to produce the 49 uh, AH1J Sea Cobras in May 1968. Similarly to the Army, the USMC, the Marine Corps, also perceived the AH-1 as an interim vehicle until a suitable replacement could be found. While this replacement would come to the Army in the form of the Apache, the Marine Corps' request to upgrade their fleet with a naval version of the Apache would be met with disapproval by the Congress in 1981, thus forcing the Marines to look for other options. The decision was therefore made to upgrade the existing fleet with the new AH-1 W Super Cobras, which featured an improved fire control system and the ability to carry more advanced ordnance, as you'd hope from an attack helicopter. So the Super Cobra is coming to the American and Chinese, I assume Taiwanese, helicopter tree in the Alpha Strike Major update. Today we'll talk about what advantages its different engine gives, well hopefully more speed, plus its expanded arsenal of ordnance options compared to the AH-1F. Let's take a look. The first and most visible difference of the H1W is a different engine setup, in short it has two, not one. Instead of being powered by a single Lycoming T53 engine, it's now powered by two General Electric, that long collection of letters and numbers, turboshaft engines. So good stuff. This allows it to re reach a slightly higher top speed of over 280 km an hour in level flight. So here is the another screenshot. More additions include uh, weaponry. Firstly, it's able to fire two Aim9L air-to-air missiles. I'm not sure what they're comparing it to here, actually. Are they trying to compare it to the original Cobra or the Viper? Because I assume this is worse than a Viper, but better than a Cobra. Which are excellent against in aircraft that may be trying to destroy you, um, or attempt to destroy you. In addition to Mighty Mouse rockets, which are standard on all American helicopters, the Super Cobra can carry Zuni rockets as well, plus up to four 20mm cannons on wing pylons, but let's be honest, you're not really going to be using those. Um, you've already got a rotary cannon, or I think it's actually a 50 cal, but... Oh no, I think it is a 20mm. Um, and lastly, there's anti-tank guided missiles in the form of the famous Tow 2 with a launch range of about 4km, so not the highest, and the Hellfire air-to-ground missiles, which have great penetration and launch range of up to 8km. In total, 8 of them can be mounted on the helicopter, so good stuff. That wraps up today's blog. The Super Cobra will be coming to the USA and probably Taiwan, not China's, uh, helicopter tree in the next major update, which is almost ready for release, so that probably means tomorrow, and here is a Hellenic Apache, if you want to buy that um, for some reason. Um, yeah, I like the Cobras, they're badass attack helicopters, I personally think they're that little bit cooler than the, the Apache, uh, smaller, lighter, meaner, um, not quite as good, but, um, you know, the best friend of the US Marines in the Gulf War, both Gulf Wars, um, I'm not sure which version of the Cobra they had backing them up, it might have been the Super Cobra if the Marines, this is a Marines, um, helicopter, 
but it might have been one of the others instead. I don't know. Let me know down in the comments below, and let me know down in the comments below what you guys think of this. Is this a nice addition? I think it is. I'm a sucker for things with super in the name. And of course, um, stay tuned and uh, expect the video on the update tomorrow. And of course, I'll catch you in the next one.